Hey Wicked Army, Wicked Hero, and welcome to the update. And if you haven't seen my previous videos, the battle machine, and also the new troops in detail, I'll put the links in the description below so you guys can check it out. But today I want to focus on the new defenses and the building structures. I want to show you which ones to look out for, what's good to protect on defense, and uh, what basically the uh, weird structures do that have just been introduced into the game so you just have a better understanding. So let's first up, let's focus on the defenses. You have your cannons, uh, which is only a single point uh, defense, which isn't too much trouble. But the double cannons early on are really, really uh, the tough uh, defense, especially uh, against the sneaky archers and the barbarians. So you want to take the double cannon down early on in Builder Hall 1 to 3. And the archer tower can be uh, problematic as well if they protect the archer tower. Um, with uh, structures and defenses because look at that range so if you put a wall around that archer tower and put it in the middle uh, then you will have a lot of trouble trying to get to that archer tower especially the double cannon shooting at you as well um, and later in the game the air bombs are the major threat for flying units you want to get that down ASAP otherwise your baby dragons and your better minions are going to go down ASAP multi-mortar really terrible against your uh, melee units so you want to get that multi-mortar down as soon as possible but look at the uh, radius where there's uh, no man zone so the melee units won't get affected in that zone you want to try to get your melee units in that radius as soon as possible not this uh, donut shaped area otherwise it'll uh, pretty much devastate your ground units you need to get these two defenses down in the later game um, I feel like they're the two most important uh, defenses you need to protect in your base. So next up, not so uh, hostile as the air bombs, is the firecrackers. They still weather down your better minions and baby dragons effectively though, so just be careful with that. But they don't pack as much punch as the air bombs. And then we have the crusher which is devastating uh, to melee units. So you want to take this crusher out with air units like the bed minion, obviously. Um, and also range units like the cannon cart and the sneaky archers. You don't want your, you know, you don't want your ranged barbarians or your battle machine or, or boxer giants in there real close. Uh, guard house is really, or well, guard post is really good at distracting uh, enemy units away from um, what you want protected uh, because it, they do distract them from a quite a long range, kind of like the arch queen in the uh, main village. So this is just a battle machine that you can uh, fix when it's in ruins and you can get it up to level 5 at Builder Hall 5. So let's go, ooh, we just moved the battle machine over there. And let's go over to the clock tower. So the clock tower is useful. Um, it boosts pretty much your resources, your training time, your building time, and um, just just for a duration of time. So it, I think it's around 14 minutes in uh, Builder Hall 5 or uh, le level 5 clock tower. And there is a cooldown on it around 8 hours, so you can only use that boost uh, every 8 hours um, at this level. So obviously um, the boost uh, is duration time is a lot longer uh, the higher level you have that clock tower. So research is the style laboratory, obviously this is where you upgrade um, your troops. And the gem mine, I find people are excited over it for nothing really. It doesn't hold that many gems, I think uh, it produces around 3 uh, gems uh, per per day and I don't think that's really that much at all so those numbers may change uh, but uh, I don't find gem mine that exciting just another thing that you want to collect uh, pretty much every day okay so now the less important buildings you know familiar of is the elixir collectors gold mine storages are self-explanatory and then we have the hundred walls you get at builder hall 5 that's the actual builder hall and this is a Builder Barracks level 7 where you get your final cannon cart card or troop. And then you have your four army camps at Builder Hall 5. And this is the trap. So um, you have your mine and you can set this to ground or air depending what you want protection from the most. And you have your standard spring traps. And then you have this mega mine which pretty much obliterates anything. You want to you wanna make sure your tanks run over that instead of your flimsy troops. Then you have your surprise hidden Tesla. And then you have your push traps, which is my favorite traps in the whole wide world. I think it pushes the push traps around uh, around three tiles. 
But anyways guys, I can't show you the stats or numbers on these defenses or traps uh, just because it's a dev build and it could be different in the game and I don't want to mislead you um, thinking that it's different. So um, let's go ahead and demonstrate these defenses and buildings in action so you guys have a better understanding of what they do. So here's an attack that I did earlier and I want to show you what I wanted to do on this base. So I really want to get rid of the air bombs and also the multi mortar here. Um, that is the main threat of my army because I have a ground and air army so I want to take out the uh, air bombs with the ground to get uh, to protect my air units and I want to get the multi mortar down as quick as possible. Luckily they're in the same area. Um, so that's good enough for me. So what I do first with the sneaky archers is clear a good percentage on the outside Because in this game, it's all about stars and percentage All right, so if you've got two stars and you have 90% and your enemy has 95% with two stars your enemy will win um, But it's all about the stars So if you have a high 94% one star because you didn't get down the builder hall and your enemy has a two star that was 52% your enemy will win because he has more stars as you can see I'm aiming to get this air bombs here and I put box of giants is because I know battle machine is supposed to be a tank but with multiple defenses aiming at it once it'll it'll weather down the health a lot and really quickly so um, I want to get that reju rejuvenation ability uh, the electric hammer as much as possible there we go air bombs down unfortunately I don't have any more uh, air troops but here we go, we've got the bombers um, coming in to help the battle machine here. So what I'm worried about is, uh, this is why I didn't go on the other side where the uh, the crusher is, is because the crusher is really good against melee units. There we go. Look at that range, look at that damage it's doing to the battle machine. And the battle machine was halfway in health before it got over there. And that's what failed the raid was that crusher, because I didn't have like a baby dragon or some better minions down the back. Uh, to clear the to clear that crusher so we've got one more bomber left and uh, we'll probably not uh, win against this um, archer tower here because the range of the archer tower is too much for the bomber to uh, to handle and plus the bomber likes to go for the closest things even if it's the wall and uh, there we go so it was close three star um, but it, it is designed uh, the build base to not be able to three star that often you have to have a pretty much perfect execution um, to the T to get a three star um, in the base just avoid um, constant ties in the game so I hope you guys enjoyed that episode and uh, I really hope you learnt a lot about the defenses and what they do what's more important um, so yeah the air bombs multi mortars I feel like are the most important and the double cannons are quite um, are such a threat early on in the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you smack that like button, if you watched the entire video put in hashtag new defenses in the comments below, let me know you guys watched the entire video, smack that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and remember guys, stay wicked.